it's a comeback story, still in the making. Welcome, Ringling Brothers Barnum & Bailey Circus reinventing itself. I feel like it's the heart coming back to American Circus. We are bringing the best talent from the world into the production and bringing it to hometowns all around America. I'm from the Netherlands. Nosotros somos de Colombia. We are from Ethiopia. Memphis, Tennessee. The circus comes to town. Gone are the three rings. You never know what to expect at the circus. The circus, as your grandparents or even their parents remember it, fell victim to changing times. Feld Entertainment, which owns the circus, discovered today's audiences did not want to see animals performing. And today's kids do not laugh at corny clown acts. Will there be animals and clowns and things like that? We will not be touring animals. That's in the history. That's the past. That is the past. And, you know, the great thing is that we've had a blank piece of paper to reimagine. Now the plan is to up the game with human feats that dazzle, astonish, bewilder while at the same time engaging audiences with interactive social media at times, even during the show. It creates a really special memory. And the shift coming on. from a younger leadership. I've been part of Ringling my whole life, <laughs> and now we're excited to, to make that real for everybody else. So you didn't need to run away and join the circus. You were, <laughs> you were born into it. <laughs> I came home to it. <laughs> In the warehouse with more than 70 years of circus costumes, you know, it started 1871, and it was Barnum and then Barnum and Bailey. Kenneth and Feld then... says this isn't the first time a pandemic has inspired big changes under the big top. And now back to the colossal circus acts. As a result of the pandemic in 1918, because they were completely closed down, that was when Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey combined because they didn't want to take a risk with all these other shows coming out. That was the other pandemic. That was the other pandemic. The new circus, still a work in progress. What have you learned about the audience as we're coming out of this pandemic? What we're seeing is huge demand for people to be in person and to see things that are real. The producers who are bringing the ringling back to the stage is also the same group of producers who do Disney on Ice, Monster Jam, Sesame Street Live. So they kind of think that they've figured the audience out. They are right now still doing auditions. More than a thousand people have auditioned. About 75 will make it. And if all goes as planned, in about 16 months, we'll see the circus performing around the country. Uh, and it will not be our parent circus. Mm -hmm. It'll be oh, very right. different, guys. Looks Thank cool. You, it does look cool. Thanks, Carrie. Oh, Thank you, Carrie. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.